everybody. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and thank you so much for watching this video. Today I am going to be doing a haul for you guys. I haven't done a haul in like, I don't know, a hot minute. Um, so I think my last one was like five months ago or something like that. Um, it, this is just stuff that I've been picking up over like the last two months or so. Um, a lot of it is like from Christmas and gift cards and things like that. Um, and I'm just really excited about it and a couple of things I've posted pictures on my Instagram but I wanted to share them with you guys on here um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as possible like show you guys my stuff but not linger on it because I know that can get kind of annoying um, so I'm going to jump right into it it's clothes and beauty products so uh, yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoy so I guess I'm gonna start out um, I just have everything kind of sorted by store um, so I will start with Ulta, and these were a couple of different purchases, I didn't buy them all together, um, but a couple months ago, like closer to the beginning of the new year, I went and I wanted a couple new perfumes, so I picked up the Gucci Premier, um, which is kind of like my smell that I wear all the time. I actually had a bottle of this before, but I ran out, um, and it's definitely my favorite scent by far. I wear it every day. I think it's just a great everyday scent. So the bottle looks like that. I just think it's very classy and um, not too overpowering, so definitely one of my favorite perfumes. Then I went ahead and picked up the Gucci 2, and the box looks like this, and I'm really sad. I couldn't find a bigger version. This is the 1.6 ounce. Um, I know they come in a bigger bottle, but I'm not sure Ulta sells it, but it just looks like that. Um, and this is probably another one of my favorite perfumes. I really, um, tend to lean toward Gucci perfumes for some reason. I'm obsessed with the Gucci Flora, too. I want to pick that one up, but, um, for now, those are the two Gucci's in my collection. Um, this is something that I've been wearing since college. I used to have a bottle of it and ran out, but I've always loved the smell, so I wanted to pick up another one. So then I took a second trip to Ulta, and this is like in the last week or so. I wanted to try some new hair products. I've been using herbal essences, which is fine, um, but I wanted to switch back to a higher-end shampoo just because I think that's kind of important. And um, I just love the smell of this. It's my all-time favorite, and that is the Biolage. Uh, what is this? The Ultra Hydrating one. They all pretty much smell the same to me. Honestly, I bought this mostly for the way it smells. <laughs> I'll like wash my hair and I'll go to my fiance and be like, smell my hair! Because um, <laughs> it's just my favorite. I've never used this one in particular before, um, so we'll see. I don't know that I necessarily need an Ultra Hydrating one, but I guess um, coming into summer, because it, it really is where I live, it's getting warm already, so um, this will probably be good to have on hand. And then lastly from Ulta, I've really been needing a new dry shampoo. Um, I was using a powder, but it just wasn't working for me anymore, so I wanted to pick up this one, and that is the Batiste, um, which is obviously a very popular here on YouTube. And I love it because I'm a brunette, as you can tell, and this is actually a darker tinted dry shampoo so that it doesn't leave any white residue in my hair when I use it. And it smells really good, and I think this does probably the best job of um, refreshing my hair when it's oily and when it needs a little pick me up. So while we're on the topic of hair products, I am going to mention my Lush product that I bought recently. Um, I have always actually come to think that I tried this once before, um, but I don't think I use all of it. I think my sister like stole it from me and then used it. I think I might have used it once or twice when I had the product, and that is the Big Shampoo. Um, I really love the smell of this stuff. It's kind of funky if you've never used it before. It is literally like, um, just sea salt mixed with, like, liquid. Um, <laughs> I'm so good at explaining things, right? Um, but that's what it looks like. And, yeah, that's a shampoo. Um, and it does lather up quite nicely, and it smells awesome. Um, I wanted something to use on my hair because I don't wash my hair every day. I usually wash it two or three times a week, so I wanted something that's going to be really clarifying for me at least once a week so that I can strip it of all the products and gunk and buildup that I have on my scalp. It says, give limp hair more volume than you thought possible with clarifying sea salt, seaweed infusion to soften, and fresh citrus juices for incredible shine. So, um, clarity softness and shine is the purpose of this and I have used it once since I bought it and I would say like I'm pretty impressed with the way my hair dries it just kind of tends to dry um, really soft but then again I do use it with like a really thick hair mask so that could be it but I don't know um, so far I'm really loving the product and if anything I love the way it smells so that's always good 
So next is Sephora, and I'm really excited to show you guys this product, not only for the product, but also because of the packaging. Um, it is the Glam Glow, and it's a duo treatment. Um, it comes with both the, what do you call it, the Super Mud Clearing Treatment and the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. So it comes with both, and I actually got these for the price of one. I think the Glam Glow runs for around $70, the, um, the clearing treatment, and then the Youth Mud was basically free because I got this whole thing for like 70 bucks. But the really big thing that I wanted to show you guys that I was so excited is, hold on, look at this box. Okay, so it opens, right? And then you got your cool little products, but then watch. So this is pink, this, then you change it, then you change it, then you change it. Oh my gosh, it's blue. Like that, I don't know. I'm easily amused, but um, the day I got this, I was like, I didn't even know that it did this. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did they, like, how did they do this? Does that make me weird? I know, it's weird. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have used both of these. I actually had my engagement photo shoot last week. So um, before I went, I used the Youth Mud. I'm sorry I keep looking at this. I can't remember quite the name of the product and I don't want to mess it up. So I used the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment on my skin before I had my engagement pictures. And it's just supposed to be a product that um, really just kind of brightens your skin up and improves the overall appearance. I guess it's something that they use in Hollywood all the time on actresses and stuff before they go on camera and things like that. Um, so I definitely have to say and attest that it did leave my skin just kind of like with a nice glow to it. Um, and the pictures turned out awesome. So I don't know, it could have been due to the mask, you never know. Um, and then the Super Mud Clearing Treatment, which is this bigger one right here, um, is awesome. I found for treating acne. I've had a lot of breakouts recently along my chin and up here uh, for some reason, which I'm not used to, but I did use the clearing treatment the other day and um, it kind of seems to just suck everything right up out of your face like all the excess oils and stuff like that. So I think that's a great product to have. It's a little pricey. Um, but if you're in the market for something to help your acne or to soothe your skin or to give you a more radiant complexion, I would definitely recommend this. So next, I stopped in MAC last week. Um, I actually got my makeup done on Saturday night. I just wanted to go in and get pampered, so I went in and got my makeup done. And I said, oh, I'm getting my engagement pictures done. Can you do it? Like, make it look good so that I can recreate it for the pictures tomorrow, and they did it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, the products that I got with my $50 purchase was the eyeshadow Omega, which looks like that, and I have used it a little bit. I just put it back in there for at least sake of this haul video. Um, but I wanted to try this on my eyebrows. I usually use Espresso, but I've been wanting to kind of lighten them up, especially because summer is coming and, you know, I don't want them as bold and intense as I would wear them in the wintertime. So um, I think this is their other popular color. I think it's Espresso and Omega, which are the two most popular colors for eyebrows and filling them in. So I picked this up. This is what she used on my brows when she did my makeup and it looked awesome and I just wanted to have it in my collection. Uh, then I picked up the brush that she used on me, and it is an angled brow brush. And I do already have one in my collection, but this one really impressed me when she used it because the bristles are so stiff. Um, I just thought it did such a good job of filling my brows in, probably even better than my Sigma one. Um, and that is the MAC 266. And as you can see, the bristles on it are pretty long, and they're just super dense, so they do a really good job for brows. And then lastly, I just needed a new gel eyeliner because, oops, I lost my bag, um, because I wear the crap out of my old one, or that's pretty much all I use for eyeliner is this, um, and my old one was like drying up and running out, so I just picked up a new one, it is the MAC Fluid Line, just in black track, and I do use this always on my... Um, upper lash line for wings and then I also use it on my waterline as well. I find that it works just as well as any other pencil liner, so awesome product. So next is my absolute pride and joy, and I have been waiting to wear this. I have to go and get it sized, um, and I just have not had any time to do that, but it is a Michael Kors watch, and this is something that I have been dying for for like two years um, since I saw Nikki Philippi's video, her... Um, bracelet collection video. I don't know if it was two years ago. It might have been shorter, but it feels like two years. Um, I just fell in love with her Michael Kors watch, and ever since then I was like, oh, I need a rose gold Michael Kors watch. It's all I've been dreaming about and all I ever wanted, um, so I picked one up, and this one is the Blair, I believe, 
and it is a rose gold tone and it's just got some rhinestones around the outside of it and like I said it's too big but I'm so excited to be able to wear it because I think it's going to go with pretty much everything um, and it's definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe and I'll probably wear it every day um, and I'm already thinking about my second one that I want to buy it's really bad it's an obsession uh, yeah Michael Kors you're dangerous Okay, so now it's time for the clothes, and I'm going to try to run through these pretty quickly because I have accumulated quite a few things in the past few months. Um, I went into Forever 21 last month in January, and I just happened to go in when they were having um, some big sale. It was like 50% off the clearance price, and they had all these things on clearance. Um, so I picked up like, I don't know, a ton of dresses, and I'm sorry, some of these I've already taken the tag off because I wanted to wash them. Um... So the first one is this peachy colored dress, and if I can show you, I guess I can't, it's a high-low, so it's higher in the front and lower in the back, and then it's sheer right here, and then it just has a little button on the back, which I think is absolutely adorable, and I just loved the color for spring. Second is another pink dress from Forever 21, and it just looks like this, and it's just a regular like knee length. Um, that's the front, and then the back of it has two, three little buttons. I was going to say two, but it's three. <laughs> uh, and then just an opening in the back right here, which I thought was so cute. And I actually almost wore this for my engagement pictures, and I regret not doing it now. Um, but that's okay. So, love that dress. Just a good little staple dress to have in your closet. And then lastly for the dresses is this black one, which I love. I'm so happy that I found this on clearance and like an extra 50% off. Um, it's just little, real, bleh. it's just little ruffle sleeves and then here it's got like a zipper detail which is super cute and then it just kind of bunches right here in the middle so it cinches into your waist a little bit. So next is a shirt that I got from Tilly's. I had a gift card from Tilly's and I happened to go in again when they were having like a big sale um, and I found this shirt which I was so excited about. This is just totally screams me. Um, I love how it's black and it's got these loud colors on it and it's a little crop top and then in the back it just kind of ties like right here. Um, I think this is going to be so cute with a pair of high-waisted shorts or, again, some skinny jeans, maybe a pair of white skinny jeans even. Um, I think this is just going to be a really good transitional shirt into spring and summer. So I'm really excited to wear this. And, again, this is one of those shirts where I'm like, oh, my gosh, spring, summer, please hurry up so that I can wear this baby because it's too cute. And then finally for the clothes, I went into a store called Love Culture, and I'm not sure how common that store is or if it's a national chain. Um, if you guys have it in your state or your area, let me know. Um, it's basically like another Forever 21. But I found these two shirts, and the first one is this red and black tribal print crop top. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm absolutely in love. Like, again... Where is the hot weather so I can wear this? And then the second one that I picked up was this, again, tribal print. Um, pretty much the same style. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it in front of the camera so that you guys can see Ooh, without knocking my backdrop over. Um, but yeah, just another tribal print. This one's more of a coral color with turquoise accents. I think this is going to look so cute. I have to get a pair of white skinny jeans because I think those are going to look amazing together. So, yeah. So that that's concludes that. everything for my massive collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And again, this is stuff that I have picked up over the time span of the last two months. A lot of it was gift cards and stuff like that. So, um... I do feel like I've been shopping a lot lately, but it's going to slow down. So I wanted to share this stuff with you guys because I am so excited about it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And if you're not subscribed already, please don't forget to do so so that you can see more videos of mine. And we can continue to grow as a happy little YouTube family community, whatever you want to call it. And lastly, thank you so much to my subscribers already. You guys are rock stars. And I thank you for your continued support and love and positivity and kindness and you know just everything you guys are great so that's everything and i will talk to you in my next video bye